children place your hands on the left side of your chest what can you feel yes some sounds these sounds and vibrations are made by the heart the heart is situated inside the chest cavity it is a muscular and contractile organ the contractions help the heart to pump the blood to various parts of the body the heart is placed between the two lungs and above the diaphragm it is hollow and conical in shape the base or the broad portion is upwards and the apex or narrow portion is pointed downwards as you are seeing in the picture the heart consists of four chambers the two chambers present in the upper part are called auricles or atria they are the right and the left auricles the right auricle is larger than the left auricle the walls of the auricles are thin a muscular partition wall separates the right and left auricles there is no connection between the two auricles the chambers present below the auricles are called ventricles they are the right and left ventricles the walls of the ventricles are thicker than the walls of auricles the right auricle opens into the right ventricle the left auricle opens into the left ventricle blood flows through the heart in the direction of auricles to ventricles to regulate the flow of blood through the heart in one direction there are valves between the auricles and the ventricles they allow blood to flow from auricles to ventricles the backward flow of blood is prevented by these valves the contraction of the heart is called systole and the relaxation of the heart after contraction is called diastole The two auricles of the heart contract together when blood from auricles is pumped into ventricles. Next, the two ventricles contract together, pumping out the blood to their various parts of the body from the heart. The contraction followed by the relaxation of the heart is called heartbeat. the contraction of heart produces the lub sound and the relaxation of the heart produces dub sound there is no rest to the beating of the heart heart beats without stop from birth to death tableau form showing the heartbeat in persons of different ages who are at rest now let's see what are the changes of the heart beats during the course of our lifetime at birth it's about 130 to 140 beats per minute in the first year it's about 115 to 130 beats per minute in the second year it's about 100 to 115 beats per minute in the seventh year it's about 85 to 90 beats per minute in the 14th year it's about 80 to 85 beats per minute and the adult age it's about 70 to 80 beats per minute in the old age it's about 60 to 70 beats per minute the heart beat can be felt on the wrist we can feel the vibrations on the outer side of the wrist these vibrations or pulsations are called pulse by counting the pulse the rate and character of the heartbeat can be judged the average pulse rate in an adult is 72 beats per minute it increases in anger and fear it is higher in children than in old people heart pumps the blood through separate tubes in the body called blood vessels there are three types of blood vessels in the body as arteries veins capillaries <laughs> arteries are the blood vessels that carry blood from the heart to various parts of the body the walls of the arteries are thick and elastic 
they are situated in the deeper parts of the body. Blood flow in the arteries is not continuous but like waves. They carry oxygenated blood to the various parts of the body. The largest artery in the body is called iota. It arises from the heart. It breaks up into smaller arteries and supplies blood to various parts of the body. The arteries distribute blood. Heart also requires oxygen, food and other substances for its working. So it is also supplied with blood vessels. The blood vessels that supply blood to the walls of the heart are called coronary arteries. The blood vessels that bring blood from the various parts of the body to the heart are called veins. The walls of the veins are thin. The flow of blood in the veins is continuous. All the veins in the head, neck and hands unite into a single large vein. This is called superior vena cava. All the veins in the legs and trunk unite into a single large vein called inferior vena cava. The superior and inferior vena cava pours blood into the heart. The capillaries are very small blood vessels. Their walls are very thin and form a link between the blood vessels and tissues of the body. Arteries end in capillaries in the organs of the body. Walls of capillaries freely allow the movement of nutrients, oxygen and carbon dioxide and waste materials. 